Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to set up environment for Spark. So to write Spark test cases, we need to add Spark core jar in our build path or class path. So for that, we need to download first Spark core library. So let's see how we can do that. So get back to the Google search and search Maven repository and here inside the Maven repository search Spark core click on the very first link Spark framework core module and here we can see whole lot of versions available into the market. So we are just going to download the latest one. So click on this go to artifact and click on download from central it will download jar file go to the folder where it has been downloaded copy it and now open your eclipse create one groovy project and paste this jar inside the groovy project here we can see that spoke hyphen core hyphen 1.0 hyphen groovy hyphen 2.4 dot jar is added into the project right click on this go to build path and click on add to build path so we are almost set to write our Spock test case this is one way of adding Spock core into the class path or build path the second way is let me remove it first from the build path now second way is to convert it into the maven project if we are just trying to use a maven build tool so just right click go to configure and click on convert to maven project and here click on finish after few seconds we can see pom.xml it means our groovy project has been converted into maven project now click on this maven.xml go to pom.xml tab and within this after this closing tag of build add one tag dependency and within this we can add number of dependency that is needed inside our project so for time being we need to add dependency all about Spock core so get back to the maven repository from where we have just downloaded the jar and here we can see that maven gradle sbt ivy grabs whole lot of tabs are here and since we are working with maven so go to the maven tab and copy this text and get back to your eclipse and paste it within this opening and closing dependencies tag within this pom.xml paste it and save it so automatically it will download spoke hyphen core jar and will add it into the class path and if we want to see where it is adding this jar we have to wait because we can see that when it is downloading one status will be coming at the right bottom corner here it is going to say building workspace and at the same time it is showing the percentage how much of the jar file has been downloaded so it will take a few seconds to few minutes depending on your internet connection and once it will be built you will be able to see one maven dependencies here like inside this jb example project we are able to see maven dependency now we can see this maven dependency just go to this triangle click on this and here within this you can see that all the related jar that is needed to work with Spock core has been added into the maven dependencies and all these dependencies are implicitly set into the build path so now we are almost set to write Spock test cases thanks for watching